There was an update on um, Miranda Cosgrove's scary stalker situation. I don't know if you guys know who Miranda Cosgrove is. Fucking nothing but trouble. I'm not into her. Uh, she had a situation where somebody showed up outside fucking knock, knock, knock. knocking on the fucking door, set himself on fire for her in honor of her. And, uh, you know, I don't, that's all I really know about the situation. Now, I'm stealing from Spill Sesh. Don't fucking strike me. Don't even copyright me, okay? I'm just, I'm chilling. I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, I don't even know what Spill Sesh looks like. Osgrove is an actress who honestly has had a pretty crazy life. It honestly may not seem like it from the way that she doesn't do too much press or post a ton on social media, but this famous child star has really been through it and she's been opening up more about things in recent times in different interviews and on podcasts. Miranda is best known for her role as Carly Shay. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, we already know this. I mean, I guess. What, what I really hate about this type of shit, these type of drama channels, is when there's no video. Actually been... They give us slideshows. I know what she looks like. Where is an interview of her breaking down, telling us about the flame, the fire? She talked about the situation back in 2020 in more detail. Son of a bitch! It happened that long ago? Fuck, I'm late! All right, whatever, who cares? Um, Let's hop on. Let's check out... Oh, gosh darn it. Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? I'm just going to hop right into Ryland. Um, it's been a while. Actually, no, this is going to be a little bit more fun. Um, there's a channel out here called Lifetime. And, uh, you know, about 20 minutes ago, I came uh, I came in, in touch with, you know, what we would call the lady of my dreams. Um, just kidding. Uh, there is uh, this phenomenon where people think that, like, there's people out here that can talk to the dead. Okay? They can, they can, you know, they can touch the other side, the afterlife. They can pull out a deck of cards, move them around, tell you their, you know, your fate, what's coming soon, okay? You know, soothsayer type of people. All right? And, uh, you know, there's this lady, I think she's a, you know, I'm really, I kind of like jumble everything up because when I think of the, when I think of a medium, I'm thinking of a psychic, the ball, everything, the 25 bucks to come into the, fucking, you know, the store. You know, to get your uh, fortune told. But there's this lady on a lifetime. Her name is uh, Theresa Cat Cat Catapo, okay? You guys are probably familiar with her. I'm not. But I am starting to really get blown away. Like, I walk in a room to do a re- And buy this fucking hair, okay? Now, girls, how many of you would ever attempt this style? It's like, it's like I'm commanding that space, right? I'm going to do a surprise. I have absolutely no control over what's going to- So I like it. I think she's wearing needles right now, okay? Or she's just wearing bullshit, her brand, Theresa, the Jaguar print. But she looks like a Richard. She's got that Southern look to her. And like, you know, I've always like wanted to walk inside a place, ask them about what they can figure out about me. Touch my hand, my palm, tell me what's coming Commanding next. That space. But this, this is like a whole, uh, there's something called a grift out here. You see it in every aspect of entertainment. Somebody's out here trying to take your fucking money. And uh, I think one of the most ancient, ancient uh, forms of grifting is the fortune teller. Okay? You'd have a witch. You go to her house. She's in the midst of with that big witch's stick. Okay? With that cauldron spinning it and they're not really doing anything in there i don't even think they're fucking doing shit i think they're pretty much just waiting for somebody to show up you know building you know exercising you never know what a witch back then in the movie was cooking in that goddamn you know who could have that much soup nobody it's a waste so this lady right here right? is a classic person of the paranormal variety she's got fucked up hair i'm not into it this is bullshit southern bell crap i'm going to do a surprise bigger the better they say people with big hair they definitely kind of like you know catch people's eye a lot like you know any type of like animal out here its defense mechanism is puffing up okay you look at it but you don't want to get near it i have absolutely no control so it's a little bit intimidating looking at her you know if i see this hair coming near me i'm like oh shit Oh shit, she's pissed. Control over what's gonna go on. First, I'll show you the room. Come see, okay. come check out the room. Oh yeah, pretty. Sorry. Yeah. The cameras are ready for the surprise, okay. so you can't see what it looks like on screen, but okay. it looks good. Where are the rest of the people? They're downstairs. We have a holding area Dominic. down by the restaurant where 
Oh, okay. We're surprising mom and daughter. Wow, what the fuck is this hairstyle? I haven't, you know, some people, it always seems like the guys behind the camera don't really know what the fuck they're doing or ne- have never looked at their self in a mirror. Dominic is over here. He's got these, what we would call nice ones, okay? About an inch and a half, you know, protruding from the chest. There's probably a good roll there, too. He's got a very, very full stomach. Coming in hot. You know, when somebody's got to lean up against the wall, you know they just had dinner. You know they just had something to fucking eat, okay? So, you know, outside of her doing an interview, she's kind of like falling apart, man. This is what my skin, you know, eventually I will have these spots. The spots of the sun. The sun spots. You know, you would think the sun's the only thing that can have a buildup. A buildup of pressure. And eventually shoot out, you know, one of our great solar flares. Basically, you're going to go in. You know, it kind of happens, too, with people that have, like, been hanging out in the sun too much. They get, like, these white spots, and it's just cancer. All by the restaurant where oh, okay. we're surprising mom and daughter. Basically, you're going to go in, you're going to take okay. a right, and you're going to walk, and they're going to be in a booth. The mom is going to have her back to you. Okay. Daughter is going to be facing you. What's the, uh, what's the girl? It's a, so it's a, a mother-daughter? It's a mother-daughter. Oh, my God. Look how fucking... Stupid, you look. What's the daughter's name? That's a great question. That's a great. I actually. We don't even know that, that's, until you get here. I just. I, I don't. I just work here. I hate when somebody's date. They 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 tell you to do something, and then whenever you say something back, they're like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! You got the wrong guy." Shut There's up, no bitch. People. Okay, yeah. so it's just a daughter. No one knows. Not even <laughs> the people who work here know anything. Still to this day, it's still hard for people to believe that I don't yeah. n- know anything. And look, I mean, I get it. So I arrive at the restaurant and the clients are being shown where to sit. And, you know, like my crew, some of them are pretending to be part of the staff, right. you know, which I didn't even know. Like, I don't even know what's going on. I have no idea. What- Shut up, bitch. I just fucked something up with my goddamn stream. Fuck, bitch. I got to pull this up. All right, my bad. What they're doing. You want me to take your purse? Yeah, do you mind holding my... Yeah, it, it, the, it, yeah, it look, on, you look it. great. It, is, it actually is a man's purse, actually. This is not a... Yes, it is. Okay. Look at his eyes. He's like, damn, bitch, you're right. It is a man. I've never heard of a man's purse. And maybe it's a small backpack. Man's I swear to God, I, I bought it in Paris. What does that even mean? Why does that make it a man's purse? You see me walking around with that shit? Ex- assume I fucking stole it. Oh, warning, heads up. Fuck, is the stream fucked up? Let me check. It's telling me it's belonging to somebody else's pocket. I gotta check and see if the stream's still alive. Um, do go to my channel. Okay. I should always have this pulled up on the fucking side. Okay, I'm here. Let me know if the stream goes down. Otherwise, I'll never... Well, I'll know. I'll know in the comments. Okay, where is this bitch at? All right, here she is. In the men's department. Okay. No word of lie. All right. So it is a man's purse. It doesn't feel natural, but that's okay. Well, because it has the strap. I left the strap at the Yes, hotel. yes. Okay. Yeah. So when you walk in, okay. there's a tray right there. So what we're pretty much watching is what we would call lies in the process of the lie, okay? The big grift, okay? You never... All this shit, all this stuff on the TV is definitely staged. I can't believe they show it, too. Drinks on. So- this is a show about a lady, like, you know, talking beyond the living. And, like, this is the last person I expect to tell me about what happens after death. Talking to the spirits. So, yeah, that's a little bit of that. Um, I don't really want to watch this. There is a lot more to this. I would like to dive into, uh, you know, Farisha. Well, actually, she's on the Kelly Clarkson Clarkson's show. Does anybody like Kelly Clarkson? I know she expanded a little while ago. She's looking better. Look at this hair just gets bigger and bigger. It's just, you know, it's the type of, like, illusion that, you know, you see it one day, the next day. It's just, it's it's making it, you know, today's her big day. She's on the TV. So she's obviously got it fluffed up for a reason. She wants people to be like, God damn, bitch, that girl's smart. Hello, welcome to That doesn't mean you're smart. That's empty. It's just frizz. Now we're in New York. Fuck. New York. The last time we were in L.A. Mm-hmm. When you came, yeah, yeah. Now you're on my turf. I know. I like it. I <laughs> love it here. Yeah. There's You've nothing been like. Very, very busy yeah. here. Yes. Yes. You you have a new podcast right now, right? Do you love it? I do. I love. Yeah. It's called Hey Spirit, yeah. and I love being able to connect people. You know, all over. The- mm, she's looking a lot like you know Howie Mandel has a daughter. Howie Mandel's daughter is fucking run down, looking like a box of rags. 
like uh you know something that you know you would think you threw out next thing you know it's been sitting out somewhere rotting away 